For nearly a century, the city of Würzburg, Germany was best known as the birthplace of the X-ray. That was until a young tennis player named Dirk Nowitzki put down his racket and started dribbling a basketball. A seven-footer with a unique blend of shooting and passing, he was selected ninth overall in the 1998 draft. The Dallas Mavericks were intrigued by his potential, but no one was quite sure how he would make his mark. He came into the league, we're wondering, is this guy a perimeter player? Is he gonna be a post-up guy? And of course, as he evolved, he became all those things. Dirk Nowitzki left open. You don't wanna do that, folks. <laughs> Through hard work and an unorthodox training regime, Nowitzki developed into an unstoppable offensive force. He's willing to work at his game every single day. And you can't say that about everybody. Not everyone has that focus, desire, discipline to do it every single day. And that's the ingredient that made Dirk who he is. Right side, Nowitzki, his jumper. Oh, good for three. Dirk Nowitzki has oh, just boy. sealed the deal for the Mavericks. Oh, boy. A 14-time All-Star during his career, Nowitzki led Dallas to the NBA Finals in 2006 and was named league MVP in 2007. But a championship still proved elusive. In 2011, he finally got another chance. He brought so much skill to the game that you felt like you were always a step behind. Dirk's heroics led the Mavs to their first ever title, defeating the Miami Heat in six games while earning NBA Finals MVP. The emotions of Dirk Nowitzki what he's always dreamed of, hoping to have another chance after the bitter loss in 2006. Dirk changed the game. He wasn't afraid of the moment. He was a bad boy. Nowitzki also led his home country to several medals in international competition, while leaving an indelible mark on the NBA. Now we think of the one-legged fadeaway jump shot. We say the one-legged fadeaway Dirk shot. He ranks sixth on the all-time scoring list has scored more points than any other international player and is the only player ever to remain with a single franchise for 21 seasons. It's so hard to come into something established like the NBA and put your mark on the game. Everybody doesn't have the power to be able to do that. Dirk Nowitzki is one of the ones that changed the game. Dirk to the Hall of Fame is a pair of point guards who knew the value of getting him the ball where he could go to work. Jason Kidd and Steve Nash. Dirk Nowitzki. For the last few months, yes. All right, there she is. Uh, for the last few months, uh, two words have been running through my head. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Jerry Colangelo and the Hall of Fame for allowing me to live with this uh, feeling of gratitude for months now. Uh, being on, in the Hall of Fame uh, means everything to me, so I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks to. The NBA uh, and Adam Silver, um, the greatest sports league in the world. Um, my career uh, has been a long journey. Um, all this became possible because I had some, uh, I learned some qualities and some values um, that were taught to me by some very special people uh, that were excellent teachers. Um, and I would like to share uh, my journey towards these qualities today, um, starting with, uh, with this quality, and that's. Uh, Creativity. Um, and the one guy that comes to mind is my guy, Nel Don Nelson, Nelly. Uh, fortunately, <laughs> fortunately uh, he's not here tonight, but um, he always saw the game different. And when I came in the league, uh, there were not a lot of coaches that wanted a seven footer to shoot three. So my skill set kind of fit perfect into his system. And I can't thank him enough. And 
We wasn't also, uh, he was also very creative off the floor and uh, the stuff that he came up with um, in, in speeches, it's, it's almost like pop. Uh, they're, they're not kid friendly, so I'm not going to say. Him. But uh, he was, it always came down to uh, me having zero talent on defense and he, uh, he, he always let me know that. And he was just uh, an incredible basketball mind and I'll, I'll, one play that always comes to mind. He always came in the morning to shoot around and he was super proud to share what, what, what's the first play going to be. And uh, one time he told me, okay, Steve dribbled the ball over, Dirk, you pop. Uh, Bradley, you duck in and Dirk, you just throw the ball off the glass and Bradley would catch it and lay it in. Sure enough, that ball went out of bounds and uh, <laughs> we started the, the game going the other way. But anyways, thanks Nelly, you're the man. Um, Creativity is worth nothing without leadership. And um, the guy that comes to my mind is my friend uh, Steve. Um, <laughs> we, uh, I think we came a long way from those two brutal haircuts we saw there. You had uh, the, the, the frosted tips you had. Uh, but. Uh, you know, who would have thought when we first started to play together that we'll be on the stage together. That is, means the world to me and you were a great role model to me and, 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 and the best teammate I ever had. So uh, you were always positive, you always encouraged me. We worked our butts off at night, went back to the gym, so, and, and you became a friend for life. So thank you, my friend. Uh, next up for me was uh, I had to learn my competitiveness and who better but my guy, uh, Jay Kidd. Um, I will always remember when, when you came to us, you were, you know, already uh, a little older. Uh, <laughs> but man, you were, you were a warrior. I, I, I remember you picking up guys at age 37, 38. You got picking up guys full court. 94 feet, uh, hustling for us, making plays on, on both ends, and uh, you were just a, a wonderful, wonderful all-around player, and, uh, and, and you, we won the championship together. We have a bond for life. Thank you so much. I would have really loved to play together with those two guys in, my, in their primes, but unfortunately I had to, I had to deal with what they gave me. But. <laughs> Next up, uh, we had creativity, leadership, and competitiveness. Uh, there's one quality that really holds a team together, and that's respect. Um, that embodies the entire class for me of, of 23. Um, I'm so excited to uh, be a part of this class. Um, Pow, Tony, D. Wade, uh, I didn't always like you guys. Uh, <laughs> We, uh, we competed at the highest level, but there was always an uh, appreciation of, of your guys' greatness. So uh, thank you guys. And there's one guy in this class uh, that we have the utmost respect for, and that's Coach Pop. Um, I, will, I will never forget you. Uh, you wrote me a handwritten note when we won the championship. And, what you and, and your organization did uh, at my last game, I'll, I'll forever be grateful. So thank you, my friend. And again, to the whole class, it's an honor to go, to go in with you. Uh, it's, it's, it's truly, I'm truly humbled. Respect is a great thing uh, if you establish it over a long period of time and then you get the quality that's more important to me than any other, and that is loyalty uh, and the guy that yeah. The guy that uh, embodies that for me in his life is my good friend Mark Cuban. Uh, uh, you, uh, you have a huge heart and you taught me a lot of lessons in, in loyalty and uh, I always remember when when you bought the team and you came to your first practice you said hey, uh, let's play some one-on-one -on -one. I can play a little bit. So, of course, I drove left like I always do, and I dunked it right on your head. And we had a great friendship and relationship ever since, so 
Uh, thanks for everything you've, you've done for me and for my family, and I appreciate it. Career always comes with change, and that's always sometimes difficult. Uh, to deal with this, it requires the following qualities. Donnie, you found me in Würzburg, and you always believed in me uh, when nobody else did. So that quality to me is the ability of taking risks. Thanks, Donnie. Uh, second, um, you have to master this perfectly. Coach Carlisle, um, thank you. you. You taught me, you taught me how, uh, how detail-oriented uh, you have to be to, to win, uh, really almost obsessed, uh, obsessive with uh, at attention to detail. And I got to say, I had to retire. I could not have done another shoot-around of yours, I got to say. <laughs> but uh, but you, you made us champions, and we'll forever be grateful. So thank you. And the lesson there was nothing really works with, without great preparation. Coach Avery, uh, you pushed me to become uh, just more than a jump shooter. Uh, yeah. You developed me uh, into more of a complete player, and you, the lesson here is that you're, you made a difference with, with your intensity, uh, and I'll always be grateful. Thank you so much. Um, the next guy I learned uh, his professionalism from is my guy, Michael Finley. Uh, you, were, you were a true pro on and off the floor. Um, you let me and Steve grow alongside of you, and we will always be grateful. And, you know, I'm, I'm still sad you went to the Spurs in 06, but uh, we've We've learned so much for you, and you became uh, my big brother, and you're always there for me when I need you. So thank you, my friend. Uh, no one can whistle a symphony. Uh, it takes a whole orchestra to play it, and that orchestra, I was very lucky to have one in, in Dallas, um, and that, that quality was, was team spirit. And, it starts with, uh, with the whole math staff, uh, with the medical staff, uh, with the, I mean, everybody that uh, does so much work behind the scenes and, 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 and really helps us to, to perform every night. Um, all my ex-teammates, I mean, I almost had 200 of them um, along my 21 years. Some of them are here tonight. Uh, some of the guys from the 2011 championship team are here. We have a... Uh, Of course, I, I couldn't have done it without you. You guys carried me every night uh, on defense, especially, and <laughs> and we have a we have a bond for life. So I really appreciate you guys coming, and of course, uh, all the Mavs fans. Uh, I hear you, I hear you. Everyone hears you, yeah. Uh, you guys uh, inspired and, and motivated me to, to always work hard, and um, I will always be proud to represent you guys and, of course, the Dallas Mavericks, so thank you. All these qualities I could have never learned without the next one is innovation. And the one crazy guy comes to mind is my coach, Holger. Uh, I mean, you, you always thought outside the box. I mean, I, was, I had to walk through the gym in handstands. Uh, I had to play the saxophone. I had to play the saxophone while doing the handstand. <laughs> I mean, what, what else can I say? You, uh, you taught me everything from the jump shot to how to play. And, you know, early on, motor skills were always more important than strength training, and I think that, uh, that helped me in, in my longevity. Um, you became my mentor uh, for my entire career, 
and uh, I will always be grateful for what you did for me. Thanks, Holger. <laughs> Trying new things uh, always leaves you vulnerable, and that's why you need protection, uh, and that's the next quality. And I have received that from my sister Silke and her family, uh, Roly, Lenny, Lila. Uh, you guys always looked out for me. You were always there for me when, when I needed you. And Silke, I'm, I'm sorry I forgot you uh, uh, to mention you at the Jersey retirement. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a good thing you were only mad at me for a brief moment. And that brief moment is still going. Next up uh, is something I learned from, from two people, and they're sitting here tonight, and um, the ex extremely important message um, in quality is, is humbleness. And I learned that from my parents, uh, Helgus and J-Dub. Uh, you obviously sacrificed so much and, and put your lives on hold so, so Silk and I can chase our uh, athletic dreams. And to make sure you really understand what I'm saying here, um, the next two sentences are actually on my accent. They're German. So, was ihr für mich gemacht habt, werde ich nie vergessen für den Rest meines Lebens. Und uh, wenn ich auch nur ein halb so guter Vater werde, wie ihr das älter für mich wart, dann, dann bin ich glücklich. Danke. All these qualities are important, but the one really come into play uh, is passion. And uh, I thought I had plenty already in my career uh, until I met you, Jess. Uh, your passion for our family is, is incredible. Uh, you're so driven when, when you want something in life, you, uh, you will work so hard to get it. Um, thanks so much for, for everything you, you do for our family and for our kids. And, um, we're really lucky to have you in our lives. Love you. Um, as you see, so many uh, qualities are, uh, and values are extremely helpful, uh, but there's one more that adds a little spice, and that's curiosity. And I got the best three, ki three teachers uh, here tonight. Those are our kids, Malaika. I'm here, Malaika. <laughs> Malaika, Max, and Morris, um, please keep this forever. Uh, stay curious and hungry. Find your passion and work hard. Um, I think I shared with you some of the stories tonight that, that I learned from my role models, and I wish the same for you. Uh, find your role models that inspire you along the way. Um, it's, it's always important in life to always have the drive to improve, uh, to never be satisfied. Always see yourself as someone who wants to learn and, and not see yourself as someone who knows everything already. Um, I've had so many great lessons taught to me by incredible teachers, uh, and you will find them too. So remember, when you're green, you grow. When you're ripe, you rot. Thank you so much. Thank you.